Hello everyone, in this video I'll explain how to handle returns on eBay with real examples. In this video, I will touch on one of the possibilities are return cases. In some of the cases, the seller will need to pay for the return shipping, for example, if the item is not as described. As a real example, the case is that there was a product size issue. When you receive a return request, you receive messages from eBay like these. Who is returning this item? Hi, the buyer is returning such and such item. Per eBay's policy, this return has been automatically approved and we've asked the buyer to send the item back. We've asked the buyer to send the item back. After the buyer ships the item, we'll share the tracking information with you. Please inspect the item before issuing a refund. View the return details to issue a refund now if you like. You must issue a refund within two days of item being delivered. So here you can see that the buyer started a return. The buyer has until May 20th to ship the item back. If you choose to refund the buyer now, then the return will close and you shouldn't expect to receive the item. This return has been approved automatically the eBay returns policy. you the details of the specific return request. So here we have the details. We have the order number, the request amount, on hold amount, and then you have the buyer information. Reason for return doesn't fit. Here's the comments. Hello, these slides run small. I normally wear a size nine, so I sized up and however, they are still small. How can we resolve this matter? You can see that April 18th, the return started. Reason for return doesn't fit. As you can see, eBay automatically accepted the return request. A few questions you may have in mind in a situation like this are, why does eBay automatically accept the return request even if I disabled the accept automatically return requests? What should I do now? How do I deal with my supplier? So eBay automatically accepted the return request because this is a standard remorse return. Example, item does not fit. So even though you may disable some of your returns options for something such as this type of return, you are obligated to accept this back regardless. Hence why this has been auto approved. This is standard distance selling regulation law, but you can check your own country to double check. So what should you do now? The buyer has to return the item at their cost and the return case will have all returns information included so your buyer can send the item back. Now, if you are drop shipping, you will need to let your supplier know. Return requests will always be automatically accepted within 30 days. eBay will also auto generate a label. My suggestion is as soon as you get a return, raise it with your supplier as they will often send you a return label. If you do it fast enough, you can send a message to your buyer saying, ignore the eBay label and use this one. If they do, great. It goes directly back to your supplier. If not, it will come to your address. You then use the label your supplier gave you and then you sadly have to post it back to them. You may therefore have to pay for the eBay label and possibly the return label. But let's say that your supplier is Amazon. Then you just need to enter your Amazon order and ask to return the item. They will generate a free label for you and that's it. If your supplier is AliExpress, another option is to offer the buyer to give the item as a gift to someone and ask him if he wants a different size for himself, which you can send to him. 
That option may be the best solution for AliExpress dropshippers when you as a seller need to pay for the return shipping. Lots of information in this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section. Have a good one and I will see you next time.